By now we've all heard of MTV's Pimp My Ride, the show that takes everyday people with cars barely hanging on for dear life in desperate need of repair and just paints them. And some TVs, they add TVs, maybe a fish tank. If you ask me, that's peak television. But how could you make it even better? Obviously, you'd have it be hosted on CMT, only work on semi-trucks, and star six guys that all look like the exhaust guy from an episode of Pimp My Ride. And you'd call it Trick My Truck. My friend Micah told me about the show a while ago, and I just finally got around to looking into it, and it's... It's exactly what I thought it would be. For the most part, this show feels just like Pimp My Ride. It's structured exactly the same. They take truck drivers whose semi-trucks are in desperate need of repair, and wouldn't you know it, they... They, they paint them. And and some other stuff. Once again, it doesn't appear that they do anything mechanically to the cars to make them run better. They just trick them, which every vehicle on a show like this, at the very least, needs to be repaired, at the very best, destroyed. Now, it's not as bad on this show as it is on Pimp My Ride. The cars on that show, I'm surprised they make it to the shop half the time. The trucks on this show more so just need some work done or are maybe towards the end of their line, so paint won't do much. Now one of the things I did notice about this show is there is no nonsense when it comes to a host. There is no host, it's just the guys in the shop. Which I don't have a problem with Exhibit hosting Pimp My Ride, I just wish he did more than pop in and out at the beginning and end of the episodes. Because the shop guys on that show, they do all the work. They do all the work on the cars, they do all the talking to the camera most of the time, and they even explain everything to the pimpy at the end. While Exhibit just giggles and cracks sexual innuendos. <laughs> Hell, I'd love it if Exhibit hosted this show with the only difference being he's just wearing a big cowboy hat. <laughs> now they do have to throw in bits like this to hold the attention of the average CMT viewer so they don't end up clicking off and wandering onto Spike TV or something. You guys having fun? Oh, yeah. Well, it looks like it. Why didn't you guys invite us? They have the exact same energy as a scripted Pawn Stars bit. Listen up. We got a lifelong trucker that needs our help. His name's Matt Cole. He's always been young at heart, but lately he's been feeling his age. His girlfriend Cindy gave us a call and said Matt's been down since his dad passed away. Matt and his dad used to work on his truck together, and now he has no one to help him fix it up. We need to help this guy out, so let's get to it. The difference I noticed with the contestants on this show versus Pimp My Ride is they are so much more appreciative that they are getting their vehicle worked on. Like it's one thing if all they do for Wyatt's high jet is paint it and put some speakers in it. He's 18, he'll, he'll figure shit out. But on this show, when you've got these guys in their 60s who will never retire and you take their shitty semi truck and give it the Pimp My Ride special, it will not help them. <laughs> His truck's feeling old too. It's on its third life and it looks it. Now that his dad's passed away, Matt has no one to help him rebuild the truck. I don't know about you guys, but I feel 10 times worse now knowing he's not just getting a new truck. But now it's time for the boys to go surprise Matt and get his truck. Oh, man. You Matt Cole? Yes, I am. Are you Matt? Yes, I am. Do you know why we're here? Yes, sir, I do. I won this brand new semi truck. God, it looks nice. No, your girlfriend called us. We're here to trick your truck. We just... Drove this one here for some reason. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of on its last leg. I, I don't think it's got much life left in it. Buddy, you just wait till we slap a brand new coat of paint on it. And who knows? Maybe some other stuff. I fucking hate my girlfriend. We're here to trick out your truck. All right! So was that not the son from Pawn Stars? Also, I, I did not intend for there to be two Pawn Star references in one video, nor would I ever intend for there to be one. Man, I can't believe you guys chose me. Cindy gave us a call and told us how the trucking industry has been really tough on you. Man, I can't believe you guys chose me. Well, I mean, we only got like 12 contestants total, so it was only a matter of time. Bad company. Yeah, that's what they call me. That's what they should call the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Bad company. That's what they should call the truck. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, the, the the truck. It's it's bad company because it's a it's a piece of shit. You take that back right now. You're here to trick my truck, not disrespect it. The cost of fuel is just it's skyrocketing. It's just tough on all of us. Whatever these guys are going to do to my truck, it's going to be awesome. The hardest part's waiting on it. If this show is anything like Pimp My Ride, then the 700 pounds of shiny junk they are going to slap on his truck will absolutely not help his fuel problems. Now, when I initially watched this, I thought that the truck that they rolled in on when they were surprising him was going to at least be his loner truck. But no, that's just the truck they ride in on because truck is in the name of the show, so they have to ride in on a semi-truck. What they actually give him is some billboard on wheels to ride on in the meantime. Matt's family really wants us to build a truck that'll bring out the kid name. Got any ideas? So now is the planning process, and they do exactly what you would expect. They take one detail from this man's life, and they make that the truck. I heard Matt's kind of a daredevil on water. He loves to water ski, boat, swim, fits on the water, he loves it. So let's make his truck into a speedboat. Matt lacked truck, so we make truck 
boat. Put some exhaust on it and give Rhino's paint job a three-dimensional look. What's that? Some propellers on the back side of the fuel tanks? You can't have a speedboat without propellers. But you can have a semi-truck without them, which is why they often don't. Let's get to it. Yeah. Let's turn it! CMT is absolutely flexing on MTV with these theatrics. We like to give our trucks a three-dimensional look whenever we can. So for Matt, we're gonna mount the back of a speedboat on the rear wall of a sleeper. Matt mentioned that fuel prices are killing him, so we're gonna go ahead and do and mount the back of a speedboat and propellers to the back of his truck and add a whole bunch of, whole bunch of waiting. Hey guys, you know what? We're just getting started on the rear end of our boat. We made our first rough cut. Now that we got our side piece sheared to size, we're gonna take it over the brake and put some bends in it. And this is gonna mimic the side of the back of the boat, tipping it on both sides. Now we got our panel bent to size, we're gonna set it up here and drill the holes in it so we can hug it to the side. Now something I notice about this show is they go way into the modding process. Like they really get into the details in a way that Pit My Ride doesn't because it's not that entertaining. They have it, names on the back, it means this truck's done. You know what one of the coolest parts about naming your vehicle is? someone else naming it for you. We wanted the inside of Matt's truck look just like a boat. Now we're gonna focus on the centerpiece here in the middle that's gonna actually gonna fold out and actuate into a bed. One thing I was blown away by was the bed situation in the back. You would think having a show like Pimp My Ride but you've got all the freedom of the back of a semi-truck cabin, they'd be able to do great things with it. I didn't think the bed would literally be boat cushions with the ability to add extra boat cushions. That sounds like a god-awful bed. Now we got a lot nut on the end of our shaft. We're gonna install a propeller, we'll stick it up on here. Feed it through the bushing we made and put the nut on it and tighten it down. Now, while I mentioned before, it's not that entertaining that they go into the specifics of the modding process. I bet there are a shit ton of dads out there watching this show on their Lazy Boy recliner on a Sunday just living for this shit. There you have it, all finished up. What do you think? I think it's trickin' redonkulous. You know, it's all funny games until his first accident, and he has to explain to State Farm why boat propellers flew through the windshield of someone's Honda Odyssey. Now guys, one of the coolest mods they do has to be the flat screen TV, the amount on the back wall. Playing a loop of them, having a blast on the lake. Now the TV's all mounted up, it's time to head to the lake and give him something to watch. Are you ready for this, buddy? Woo! So Matt can always sit back while he's parked behind a Hardy slash truck stop, and watch some guys do the thing he wishes he was doing more than parked behind a hardy slash truck stop. Yeah, watch this. Boom! Gone! <laughs> I don't know what's worse though, that or exhibit locking his music videos to the TVs on Pimp My Ride. But now guys, it's finally time for Matt to see his brand new, his newly painted truck. I'm way past racing this truck. Alright Matt, hold your breath because it's time. Well say hello to Wave Maker. You called it what? Well, Matt, when Cindy called and told us that you were feeling a little bit old, we decided we had to do something about it. She told you guys that? Man, I can't believe how anybody can incorporate a speedboat into an old antique 88 Peterbilt. Only you guys could do it. You're right, Matt. Only they can. And only they will. Because no one else really wants to. <laughs> Rhino, this thing is gorgeous. Yeah! Hey Matt, come over here and check this out. How far away are you guys that you have to yell like that? <laughs> we lowered this truck three inches, narrowed the hood 11, so it looks just like the bow of a boat. Lowered, chopped, and cropped. That's you guys' style. Yeah. Like you can tell Matt is a real fan of the show because he is being very genuine with how excited he is. Like, it's not the fake excitement we see on Pimp My Ride. Matt, there's a ton more back here to see. Yeah. But the dynamic between them right now is hilarious. It's like parents excited to have their kid open up all the gifts they got for him. Hey, Matt, come on over here. Look what I did. Okay. <laughs> hey, Matt, come check out the back. Yeah. I just know Matt's heart rate is through the roof right now. Well, if you think that's cool, Matt, look what's behind you. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Hey, Matt, why don't you take a look in the back? We gutted out all that old stuff. Oh, he tore out the cabinets me and my old man put in before he passed away. Well, Matt, we were t tricking your truck. We, we didn't know. And you didn't ask. You got a custom-made bench seat like you'd see in any speedboat? Only yours folds out into a bed. Now earlier when I mentioned the bed situation, I thought that maybe they weren't finished with it or there was something else they hadn't shown us, but no, that's... that's just it. So that way while you're asleep, it's gonna feel like you're floating on the waves. Like, that's the kind of thing you sit on when you're tying your shoes. That is not a bed. I'm not even exaggerating when I say this. That is worse than the ottoman that Michael sleeps on in the dinner party episode of The Office. And on the back wall, we hooked you up with a 42-inch flat screen TV and a DVD player. Rob, is that you on the skis? <laughs> well, heck yeah, we had to make sure we did some proper research for your truck. That you guys up on the TV, isn't it? Heck yeah, it is. We had to do our proper research. <laughs> 
Also, we found out that you can, in fact, get a DUI on a boat. You guys, you got a God-given talent. I've seen the fabrication in this truck, the painstaking detail. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best truck you've ever built, and I thank you for it. God, there is such a stark contrast between the guys on this show and the guys on Pimp My Ride. Like, the appreciation level. Like I said, Matt is genuinely appreciative of this shit. Like, all the way. <laughs> but on Pimp My Ride, you'd have some teenager at the end like, Yeah, guys, this is sick. Thank you so much. I've got to go, though. I've got a booty call that is, like, counting on me pulling up in this thing. See you guys. Thanks. Yeah. Well, Matt, we built Wavemaker for you to get back in touch with your job and your family. God damn it. Why didn't you tell me that when I was down there? Why'd you wait until I got into the truck to start telling me shit? I mean, this does look like a brand new truck, so I hope they at least did something under the hood to make this run better. Because while I don't know that much about cars and trucks, it seemed like at the beginning of the episode that this truck is on its last legs. At the very least, just show us a clip of you giving it an oil change. That That's all we need. After we added about 300 pounds of scrap metal to this thing, we could tell it's on its way out. So we had one of the guys take a Love's gift card out of his wallet and we threw it on the dash for Matt. Now while this truck may only last a few more years, you know that Matt is going to be the star of every truck stop he pulls into with this thing. So at least he's got that. Well guys, that was Trick My Truck. Like I said, everything I expected it to be. But if you guys did like this video, give it a like rating down below, comment any thoughts, ideas, opinions you have on the video, share it with your friends, it helps me out a ton. And if you're new here and you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing, hitting that bell, come on, just do it. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.